New job for Marianne Buttonshawn as she takes on the role of Assemblywoman, New York's 119th district. Our Ben Dennis caught up with the political newcomer when it comes to her priorities for her new constituents. In the open seat race for New York's 119th, Marianne Buttonshawn defeated Dennis Bova for the seat Assemblyman Anthony Brindisi vacated. Buttonshawn lays out a number of key initiatives she hopes to tackle. The importance of economic development. Um, uh, many individuals have personal needs. Uh, I've heard from a few folks regarding group homes and the safety within those group homes. So the priorities, I think, are still there. Education that I have seen throughout it. Mental health, looking at ensuring uh, poverty is, is being cared for. The 119th district includes the cities of Rome and Utica in Oneida County, plus Frankfurt in Herkimer County. Buttonshawn says she has narrowed down various committees she hopes to be a part of. I'd love to see uh, the Labor Committee, uh, Agriculture is one that's very important, uh, Education, obviously, Public Safety. Buttonshawn says that she's preparing for freshman assembly member orientation in early December by talking with nonprofits and local organizations to hear their needs. Looking at the 501. C3s, agencies, looking at mission statements, looking at their priorities, to try to bring all of this information together. I have been working uh, with Anthony Brindisi's office just to look at the importance of a smooth transition, asking what, what uh, priorities are there, what projects, uh, what constituents' needs are, and determining what, how to uh, ensure that there's a very smooth transition. And because economic development is a priority project for Buttonshawn, we asked if she would work to bring in new jobs to the Marcy Nano Center site. Absolutely. Uh, one of the highest priorities because you find that it is, uh, as I went door to door, so many individuals asked about Nano. And they wanted to be sure that it, it does remain a priority for this area. New assembly members are sworn into office in January. In Utica, Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News, first at 10.